Let's start with something simple, like one and one ain't three, and two plus two will never get you five. There's fractions in my subtraction, and x don't equal y, but my homework is bound to multiply. Ben's geometry homework is so hard. Can't someone help me? Poof! Who are you? Why, I'm the geometry fairy. You poor, poor soul. So what are you working on? We're doing transformations right now, but when are we ever going to use this in real life? Transformations are everywhere! Geometry quest! Your job is to find geometry in real life. A translation is a type of transformation in geometry. It is when you translate, or slide, an object or figure in any direction in a perfectly straight line. It is a rigid transformation because the figure does not change the size or shape. Okay, let's go find some translations! So remind me why we're getting in the car again? To search for translations. I see. So why are you wearing a beard? So I can disguise myself amongst you human folk. Okay. Now let's get going. Abacarombus! Try the key. Oh. Okay. Abacarombus! Oh, look. It's a trap. Sword. I see that. Put it in there. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll pull this off. There you go. This car is moving in a straight line without changing direction or size. Therefore, it is translating. Hey look, a parade! And there's a band going by. They're in block band formation, aren't they? So, that means that they're in a rectangle, right? Yep. And so that means that if they move in a straight line, they must be translating. I'm starting to understand translating now. Hey, while we're walking, we're translating right now, aren't we? We move, we, from, we move from there to here without changing our shape. Start to get it. After that exhausting trip, why don't we watch a movie? Abracarombus! Look! Translation right there! Aha! Pressing around, let me do my homework. But wait! You haven't learned about reflections yet! a type of transformation that produces a mirror image. This mirror image is the same as the original image, but flipped over. The easiest example of reflection is a mirror. Those kitchen tiles are examples of reflection too, aren't they? Yes. And this is their line of reflection. There's also a line of reflection right down the middle of this car. Butterflies have lines of reflection right down the middle of their bodies, leaving two identical wings on the inside. So I've learned about translations and reflections. What more do I need to learn to do my work? Well, you still need to learn about rotations! Rotation is yet another type of transformation. 
In a rotation, all the points in a figure rotate, or turn, an identical number of degrees about a fixed center point. If no direction of rotation is given, assume it is counterclockwise. This blender shows rotation, and it makes an excellent snack. Those car wheels rotate as they turn. Their center of rotation is the hub cap at the middle. This model shows a planet orbiting the sun. This shows rotation because the sun is the center point that the planet is orbiting or rotating around. Okay, I'm starting to get it now. When the fan blades turn around this point, it's rotation. It's just a secret. <laughs> you should be a comedian. Oh. Alright, this is another form of rotation. See the yellow tape? Uh, represents a point rotating around a center of rotation, which is this black thing. Hey, you're the geometry fairy, aren't you? Why don't you have any wings? Well, my co-worker multiplied their transparency by the square root of negative one, and I haven't seen them since. Well, can I finish my homework now? Well, you still need to learn about dilation! A dilation is a type of transformation in which a figure increases or decreases its size without changing its shape. A balloon is a perfect example of dilation. Bam, 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 bam. Bam, Math. Geometry. Rules. Bam, Math. Here's another example of dilation. How is that dilation? You'll see. Africa, a isosceles triangle. Wow, it got bigger! So it is a dilation! Yes! This time, we'll see something getting smaller. This is another type of dilation. See? The ice will melt. No kidding. Bam! 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 Geometry rules. Bam! Bam! The ice is still the same shape, but now it's smaller. And so the geometry quest is complete. And I'll just need you to sign here and there. I did. Okay. So. Well, is there anything else I need to know before I do my homework? I don't think so. Well, yes, there's one thing. Well, there's. Is there anything your teacher really likes? It's best to appease. Your teacher. Well, he really likes UCLA, which is a school somewhere, but I don't really get that because we go to Dana. I guess I'll just write Dana. Okay. Well then, it looks like my job here is done. It's been a pleasure working with you. And remember kids, always use a straight edge! Why, I'm the geometry fairy!